Hello and welcome to another episode of South Guru Salesforce Success Series. Today we're going to show you how to write test classes in Salesforce to ensure code quality. Whether you're new to Salesforce development or an experienced pro, understanding how to write effective test classes is crucial for maintaining robust and error-free code. So why are test classes important? Well, they help us ensure that our Salesforce code is working as expected. They're like a safety net for your application, catching any potential issues before they impact your users or business. Let's dive into writing a test class for a simple Apex trigger. Here you can see that we have a test class. Account with contacts test at is test classes created for this name. Apex class account with contact where we have a method which accepts account names and the list of contact names. Here we are creating an account, and here we are creating related contacts. To cover this class with a test class, we have created our test class method where we are passing the name of an account and creating a list of contact names between the start test and stop test. We are calling this method and passing the account name and contact names. Once this method runs in the test context, it will create data in the system in the test context. We will verify whether the accounts and contacts are created by querying on the account with a given name that we have provided here, and then we will use system.asserts to verify the same. Similarly, we will use the account ID to query on the list of contacts, and we will use the system.assert equals in a loop iteration to check whether the contract has been created. You can run your test class using the Salesforce Developer Console or your preferred IDE. Ensure all your tests pass, and if any fail, fix your code and rerun the tests until they're successful. Now let's see how to run the test class to generate the coverage. For this, in the Developer Console, you can go to the test, click on New Run, select the test class, and then select the method, and then click on Run. Once the test class has completed successfully, then go back to the Apex class. Here in the Code Coverage button, click on it, and you can see the method that has covered your Apex class. In this case, we have only one method, and you can see all the test. Click here, you will see all the lines which have been covered successfully by the test class. This way, you can create a test class to know the coverage of your main class. Here are a few best practices for writing test classes. 1. It is essential to create test data that encompasses various situations and edge cases. 2. Write test methods for each function in your Apex code. 3. Utilizing assert statements is crucial for verifying the anticipated results. 4. Keep test methods and test classes organized and easy to understand. 5. Avoid hard coding values in test methods. 6. Do not use real data. Instead, use test data. In summary, test classes in Salesforce are crucial for validating Apex code functionality, maintaining code quality, and meeting Salesforce's deployment requirements. By following best practices and understanding the components, limitations, and use cases of test classes, you can create robust and reliable Salesforce applications. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found this video helpful. Keep watching this space for more Salesforce tips. Don't forget to sign up with Sauce Guru to supercharge your career.